Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today, we're discussing a blast from the past, the past being the 2000s. This is the Chichero Cult Grand Reverso Grand Dat, a timepiece with an 8-day power reserve, 10 in reality, a grand double-digit date, power reserve indicator, and a manufacturer caliber 875 with exceptionally long legs, and we're going to see it in a moment. Now, this uses the 70th anniversary Reverso's XGT case, the extra grand tie. So it's bigger than the previous grand tie, but it's not big objectively, as the watch is only 46.5 millimeters lug to lug. That's not terribly broad across the wrist. 29 millimeters from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, not including the crown, nor is it particularly thick, despite the 8-day power reserve, twin mainspring barrels, complications, and reversible case. It's only 12.1 millimeters thick. Remember, a Daytona is 12.2, so this is a slim watch that will fit underneath a dress cuff. You'll also appreciate that the spacing between the lugs, 20 millimeters, will give you many aftermarket and OEM strap replacement options if you want to dress up your Reverso. The strap is very close drilled, and this is characteristic of most Reverso designs, whereby the lugs are drilled close to the case to create a highly integrated look with no daylight between strap and case. There's also no constraint in the movement of the strap, so you can pull it straight down around the tight curve of a small wrist. That said, it is a fairly substantial and meaty strap richly bolstered, made of alligator leather, so it has a little bit of a stiffness to it when it's new, but that'll change as it breaks in. It features a monotone stitch, a folded edge, bolster down the center. The color is somewhere between brown and burgundy, with a large rectangular scale and a semi-gloss finish, and the timepiece does come with a full deployant clasp. Blasted on its interior, polished externally, it's nicely executed and it gives you insurance against droppage while donning or removing. The Art Deco form of the Reverso has happily been one of its most consistent features through the generations of this watch since the first in 1931. You can see the conical end profiles are contrast in themselves, squared off at their ends and then beautifully arced. They swell to match the rounded barrel-like profile of the case, and you can see the gadrons that wrap around the case on both sides. Now here's where there's more contrast. You can see that the strong vertical aspect, the sweep of the case, the crystal, and the dial is at odds with the horizontal sweep of the gadrons as well as the lug ends. A combination of soft curves and hard angles, that is the reverso. It continues on the dial side, and let's get a little bit closer, afford ourselves some more light. There is a stamped rose lathe pattern, so it's not true rose lathe, it's stamped. And you have an undulating form at the center, you have a dimple style track outboard, and then metallic satin grain in vertical satin fashion. Broadsword hands are blued, as are the hands for the power reserve indicator and the small seconds at 4.30. There is a double digit date, and yes, the watch does feature, I'm going to just make sure we're through the danger zone here, the watch does feature a quick set functionality so you can rapidly cycle should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. Nicely executed, high contrast, not loomed but easy to see by day with exceptional contrast between the black of the numerals, the blue of the hands, and the silver of the dial. Turn it all over. This is part of the fun of owning a Reverso, the reversible case. The chassis on traditional Reverso models featuring that characteristic, let me see if I can show it to good effect, engine turned perlage pattern a macro perlage pattern, and then the case back of the watch featuring a sapphire display. Let's get a little bit closer, improve our focus, and appreciate that which JLC hath wrought. Okay, this is caliber 875. It is descended from the 70th anniversary Reverso's manufacture twin barrel eight day movement. Now a couple things to know. Right here, the movement itself is a twin barrel contemporary four hertz high beat caliber. So you don't get to that long power reserve by slowing the beat rate. It is a 28.8 beat rate. It does feature the power reserve, it does feature the quick set date, but it does not feature hacking seconds. A 25 joule movement, all of the action takes place at the bottom around the balance and at the top where you can see the traditional center wheel is flanked by the two barrels that are located at the top of the caliber. Linear Cote de Genève across the bridges, you can see that there is a machined bevel. It's not a hand laid on collage, but there's a handsome machined bevel on the flanks of each each bridge, and you'll appreciate the use of true kiln-fired blued screws rather than chemically dyed blued screws. This is the real thing right here. All of it 30 meters water resistant, descended from the great 877 caliber in the Septantium, the 70th anniversary Reverso. A wonderful way to waste time when you are in a meeting, 
The reversible case remains one of the signatures of the watch and among its most beguiling features. If this one sings to you, you can see it and make it yours on the watch box.